Hey, what's up, guys? Eskazoo here, and welcome to episode 22 of Skill into Glory. And uh, in today's episode, we're going to be trying to promote ourselves to Division 2, what usually for me is the toughest division in every single FIFA. So, um, yeah, that's our aim for today. We have four games left. We need two more points. So uh, hopefully we can uh, we can pull that off. So uh, going on will be the first game again against a really strong side in the I think 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation. And my opponent started off scoring a really nice goal actually in all honesty uh, with Sturridge. I actually thought he wasn't going to get to it but a really nice volley there. Back post makes it 1-0. Then uh, 25th minute onwards for some reason he just decided to pass it around the back. I don't know if he like purposely decided to time waste already because it was that early in the game. But it was really annoying. He did it for a little while and um, yeah, I just couldn't create chance in the first half really. This was the first one, I crossed it in, I was hoping to get like sort of a header in or a shot. I could have maybe taken a shot with Benarf, I took the shot here with Danilo and um, that was about it for the first half. Then uh, going into the second half, he decided to do the exact same thing again and I knew that he was just time wasting just to, to annoy me really. And I don't know why people do this, like seasons for champions as well it seriously just brings out the worst uh, in people like i don't know why people do this but anyway moving on forward we did create more chance in the second half though uh, here from a free kick uh, once we got fouled uh, he put a player on the line so it made it more difficult for me tried to go for the other corner but uh Yoris saved it there then in the 80th minute uh, we have the ball with douglas costa we get it back after some really lucky bounces uh, then somehow we managed to get a 1-2 going here between Douglas Costa and Clichy over the top through. Well, then we go for a shot across goal and it finally went in. We finally made a 1-1 in this game. And uh, yeah, I felt to do uh, the Can You Aim Me one because this guy was seriously annoying me this whole game. So moving on forward, 83rd minute here, straight from kickoff, setting a lot of pressure on him. We managed to go on the attack here again with Douglas Costa and also Niang. I probably should have cut inside, take the shot with his right foot instead of his weaker foot, but... That's just something you can only like, kind of like say afterwards because when you're actually on the attack, you just don't really know what you're doing sometimes anyway. 85th minute here, another chance for Douglas Costa, which just should have been a goal. And unfortunately, that's how the game ended. Like if we won this game, we would have guaranteed promoted to the next division. But right now, we're only one point away. We still have three games left though, but I just really felt that we, we could have won the game, even though like a draw, I guess was more deserved uh, based on the stats. But the way my opponent was playing was just so frustrating. So I really want to win that game. Anyway, moving on will be the second game of the episode. We come up against a La Liga side in the 4-2-3-1-4 uh, formation. A decent looking team. And he starts uh, off in the sixth minute, picking up a corner. Gets a header in with Mangala and it somehow went in. I don't know how. Like usually there's a player on the line who kind of like clears the ball off or the goalkeeper saved it. But it went in. A nice header though, but I think my goalkeeper should have saved it. Then 10th minute, uh, some LTRT dribbling with uh, Muriel. We do get a nice run here going with Perotti. Probably should have taken a shot earlier. Then somehow we managed to get a corner from it, but we didn't really create anything. Then uh, 26th minute, Nani on the ball there, left-hand side. Cuts it with a really nice Berber spin. Plays it on all the way to the right-hand side, where Inaki Williams was completely free, but a good save there from Perrin. Uh, could have easily been 2-0, so uh, he kept us into the game nicely. Then uh, 30th minute, we go a bit of passing around. Uh, we pick it up with Quadrado. Gets a shot in with his weaker foot as well. Really good save from his goalkeeper. Then in the second half we go. He gets a chance here with Mangala. Another header. Which my goalkeeper saved this time. And uh, that's actually how the game ended. Like my opponent played much better than me. I didn't create a single thing in the second half. I think I only had one shot on target. Which was from the first half. And um, yeah. That was about it really for that game. So um, yeah. Annoying to lose the game that way. But um, it sometimes happens. Then moving on into the third game of the episode. Again a Premier League team. This one actually was a really strong side. With Sterling, Mane. And also Musa up front, just three deadly strikers. And uh, after 19 minutes, I just gave him too much space. He went through with Sterling, makes it 1-0. And uh, yeah, we're down 1-0, uh, which was uh, kind of annoying because I felt I, I could have prevented that goal. Then for the event, we get ourselves uh, the first kind of big chance, I guess. Uh, shot in here with Quadrado, a good save there from Perecek. I want to pass it off immediately to Perotti, but went with a back heel, which was really weird. Then from that, my opponent went on the counter with those deadly strikers, picks it up with Musa. Went with a low cross to Mane and makes it 2-0. And um, I knew it was going to be really difficult. And when I was 2-0 down, I went on ultra-attacking straight away. And uh, in the second half, I started creating more and more chances. Uh, we start off in the 53rd minute with Muriel. Passed it across, was hoping to get like a touch onto it or something. The defender was there with a nice block. Then uh, 69th minute, Douglas Costa with some great skill moves. Again, I want to pass it back to Muriel. 
But it's freaking defender got in the way again. So um, yeah, couldn't really get any shots on target, unfortunately. Then a few minutes later, again, also on the attack with Parotti. Some great skill moves. There was a lot of space on the left-hand side. But we go through here with Muriel. Took the shot as well, which again, I just should have passed off, I think. Uh, really good save as well from Petrček. Then in the 85th minute, he went on the attack from a throw-in. And um, yeah, I gave him too much space. Took the shot with Carzola. Makes it 3-0 and made it game over because I knew I wasn't going to get back into the game. I think I went on, uh, on I think, all-out attack as well. And mainly because of it, I think. I just gave him too much space again. And he made it 4-0 as well. Another pass across goal. But, yeah, I don't blame him. He obviously wants to win as well. So, lost that game 4-0. Um, deserved. But, again, I mean, we could have we could have at least maybe got, like, one point out of that game. But... It was just my finishing and also the way I kind of played. Like, I think I just played a little bit too forced. Like, some chances where I should have just passed it off, took the shot, which was just so stupid. Like, looking back at it now, I uh, I knew I should have done something different. But, um, yeah, moving on, what will be the final game of the episode? Again, one point away and we had one game left. Like, a draw or a win was enough. And we start off really well in this game. A good shot for Marshall. I would have loved to see that one uh, to go into the top corner. Uh, just went wide though. Then uh, 13th minute, a big chance here as well with Remy after some uh, miscommunication uh, at the back from him. Uh, a good save from his keeper as well. Moving on forward, 18th minute, another chance with Martial with his weaker foot. This time, uh, Ryan has saved. He almost got a no goal, but he uh, just cleared away in the end. Then 20th minute, like we were so dominant in the first few minutes uh, of this game. Uh, Martial here on the ball as well, cuts in with the purpose spin, passed it off to Ben Arvo, took the shot. But Ryan was in a way. I really counted this already as a goal, but. An insane save from him. Then 25th minute, he has the baller with uh, Zarate. Passed around a little bit. A good tackle there from Mangala. Then he picks it up with Zarate. Stands still, shoots and scores. Like, are you actually kidding me? This was his first chance. And he already scored. Like, it was a nice goal. But, I mean, everything was just pretty much against me. That's that's how it felt anyway. Like, towards the end, he could have easily made it 2-0 as well. But a good save from Diego Alves. But the way this game started, we dominated so much. And we just couldn't score. It was just so annoying. And also in the second half, a few minutes in, like, what the hell happened? I wanted to just pass it off to Ben Arfa. Then Remy turns around, goes for the back heel. Like, are you serious, man? Like, just nothing worked in this game. Like, nothing. It was just so frustrating. And, and to make it worse as well, 57th minute. Look at this. We gave away a penalty. And I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't press a single thing. Like, I didn't press B. I didn't press A or X or whatever. He just fell down and he got himself a penalty. Like, the stuff that sometimes happens in FIFA is just is just ridiculous. Like, if you've seen my uh, my streams from the other day, like, I had one game where my opponent had one shot on goal. He scored twice, which I think was, like, a header or something. And, like, the stats, man, in that game were absolutely insane. Like, I put a picture on Twitter. I'll leave it in the description. But it's obviously my fault as well that I don't score or that I don't really play that well. But it's just also sometimes the game that is just completely against you. And I don't know the reason for it. Like, I had four freaking games left in this episode. And I just completely blew it. Like, I I'm speechless. Anyway, that's where I'm going to be ending off this episode. Uh, still hope you enjoyed it, despite the fact we didn't promote the Division 2. But, um, yeah, hopefully next episode we are able to do it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you did, then make sure to leave a like. would be very much appreciated. So, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.